Hey, what's up? I'm Chris. This is my wife, Candace. She follows shantyfashik.com and saw these scotches online, decided that she wanted to make them, so she asked for my help. They're really easy to make. All you need is a 2x6, so let's show you how we did it. We're going to make all three sconces from this one eight foot 2x6. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the pieces down to size. I need three 21 inch pieces and three five and a half inch pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and cut those on the chop saw, but first I need a square up one end. Now I've got blue tape on it to prevent tear out. All right, so Candace has all the pieces stained. So what we're gonna do is, I cut this three and a half inch spacer block so that we know where to put the shelves at. But I'm gonna put the spacer block on there. I put a little glue, glue it down, clamp it, turn it over, and screw it in. So I'll let Candace do all that. All right, so now I'm going to install some of these keyhole hangers, which I picked up from the home store a minute ago. I'm going to install uh, one on each sconce, maybe an inch from the top and centered in the middle. So here's the result of the first one. Uh, now, I, all I have is this small portion of that and a quarter inch chisel. So on the next one, I'm not going to worry about trying to keep to this curve. It just took a little bit too long. So I'll go ahead and show you what I did. All right, so I laid it here and I marked around it with a pencil. I'm gonna go ahead and score the lines with the razor blade. I do have this little knot here, which is really hard, so I don't know how that's gonna affect the cutting. It might uh, be a little messy. Like I said, I'm not gonna worry about following the curve. I'm just gonna make it square, like a little shallow mortise. Test it out here. So, a little tight on this side. I think that's going to be good on the initial depth. So now this fourth bit that I have already just happens to fit 
right inside this little hole here. It's got a fixed bit, so it's gonna it's a self-centering bit. So that's what I use to make sure I get the holes perfectly centered. Well, I don't normally do this by hand, but I don't feel like it. The screws are kind of long, so I'm not really worried about stripping these screws out. Cheap. And that'll do it. Time to put them on the wall. Hey, what's up? Get away from it, don't touch it. Because <laughs> I know how to. You don't know how to change it. No, I don't know how to change it. I have no clue. Nobody's ever taught me how to use the